Schumer and Jeffrey stopped short of endorsing Kamala Harris. Senator Chuck Schumer and Representative Hakeem Jeffries, the two top Democrats in Congress, on Monday stopped short of endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris for president, praising her for following party rules and seeking to claim the nomination. Vice President Kamala Harris is off to a great start with her promise to pursue the presidential nomination in a manner consistent with the grassroots and transparent process set forth by the Democratic National Committee. The two, both of New York, said in a joint statement, she's rapidly picking up support from grassroots delegates from one end of the country to the other. We look forward to meeting in person with Vice President Harris shortly after we collectively work on to unify the Democratic Party in the country. The careful statement was notable at a time when Democratic governors, senators and representatives, donors and state party chairs, including Representative Nancy Pelosi of California, the influential former speaker, were all quickly lining up to enthusiastically back Ms. Harris's candidacy. The decision by Schumer and Jeffries to remain neutral, at least for now, is driven in part by their belief that for leaders who hold great sway with members of Congress, the endorsement would make Harris's nomination look more like a coronation than an organic coalescence of newly organized, energized party, according to people briefed on their thinking, who described it on the condition that they not be named. Former President Barack Obama has also not endorsed Kamala Harris. Still, the decision irked some Democrats who wanted them to get on board and fast. I could be a nice person and I'd say I'm frustrated by, by it, but I am, but I am, said Representative Maxine Waters, Democrat of California, member of the Congressional Black Caucus. They need to come and get on board, she said. Most Democrats are eager to quickly put aside party divisions and dysfunction and unite quickly to work to defeat former President Donald Trump. Even without endorsements from top leaders, it's clear where things are trending. Harris is expected to quickly wrap up the support of the entire Democratic Senate caucus without Mr. Schumer putting his thumb on the scale. In less than 24 hours, there were fewer than 10 Senate Democrats who had yet to back her. A quick show of support by a group of governors who had been uh, cited as potential challengers to Ms. Harris if Biden exited the race also indicate that Harris had a clear path to the nomination. In an interview, Senator Brian Schatz, Democrat of Hawaii, who endorsed Harris on Sunday, said so far it was a competitive process. The vice president was simply winning it easily. Schatz said, the fact that the sitting vice president has lots of structural advantages and is performing at a high level is a good thing and not a controversial one. We have no obligation to look silly or display disunity. Schatz said Mr. Biden's decision to step down and endorse his running mate worked like a lightning bolt online to energize the depressed party. He said, I thought that the algorithms didn't permit people to feel hope anymore. Senator Kim, Tim Kaine, Democrat of Virginia, said he was all in for Harris and ready to start contrasting her with uh, Trump. It's going to be a very, very exciting race. A contrast between the past and the future, he said. Donald Trump is yesterday's chaos. Why would we want to go back there, he said. And this is, uh, appeared first on the New York Times. It's on DNYUZ. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The Daily Posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.